Well, away from that now, Africa is a continent that is fast urbanizing and, as a result, has numerous cities with soaring populations and concerns about how to properly manage their waste. Every year, improper garbage disposal leads to deadly epidemics of mosquito-borne diseases like malaria, yellow fever and others. New Central's Bettina Willey takes a Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria as a case study and brings us this report. Nigeria is becoming increasingly concerned about health risks related to environmental problems. Air pollution, water pollution, oil spillage, deforestation and desertification are all major concerns. Inadequate drainage systems are largely the result of human activity and aggravate these issues. If you walk through the streets of many Nigerian cities, you will see plastic waste everywhere. The rivers and ocean are filled with discarded plastic. Nigeria is estimated to generate about 2.5 million tons of plastic waste annually, and plastic accounts for 15% of the total waste generated in Lagos State. What I've been seeing on the road, like the gutters and some other things, the waste being some of them, some of them on the way there, when they are walking along the way, when they eat anything like dirty things, like any waste, instead they put it in a waste bin around, they will just throw it in the gutter anyhow and can see they are even polluting the environment, making the environment to be dirty. When we are young, at a booty meter there, we, we do have, can, uh, we used to call them can can sue. Every time they come with, you know, this chemical, they spray the, the, the gutters, every, every environment. Nothing like too much malaria, but nowadays the population is increasing. And the more the, it increases, the each, each local government chairman should look into their his own or our own environment and take care of it. The World Health Report indicates that globally, 23% of death occurrences and 26% of children deaths, ranging up to 4 million children under 5 every year, are due to environmental factors. People have argued that the responsibility is on the government to make and enforce policies and regulations. Others argue that residents ought to take responsibility in the spirit of environmental citizenship. But what about the manufacturers who too often take no responsibility for the plastics they produce that end up as waste in the environment? Education and awareness about waste management practices have increased in the state. It's just ensuring that people do the right thing the first time now is what we need to really focus on these days. Well, before we go ahead and continue to reduce enforcement and prosecution in areas where people are not doing the right thing, we need to ensure that they are being taught what good looks like, they are being shown, and they are being, uh, there's a constant reminder. There's a federal plastic policy for Nigeria, and there's a state plastic policy for Lagos, which has gone through the executive, and then we are now seeing the final consultation stage with other stakeholders before it goes to the House of Assembly. The environment is a critical factor in determining the health of people and communities. Sustainable environmental practices can improve both the quality of life and the span of a healthy life. Policies that support environmentally sustainable development should be essential to achieve these goals. Bettina. Willie reporting for News Central.